There is a new survey out right now. It says the city of Santa Monica is actually the least safe cities in our entire state. So researchers looked at property crimes and violent crimes. KTLA 5's Gene Kang is live in Santa Monica with that. Good morning, Gene. Hey, good morning, Lynette and Mark. I don't know how to follow up on a story after a Kermit song and rainbows, but we're going to do a hard turn here in Santa Monica. Uh, just as equally as beautiful, I hope, but as you see, the beach is right behind me. And as we know, there are many tourists that come out here for the beaches, the restaurants, the iconic pier. And this morning, unfortunately, there is a new report saying that Santa Monica makes the list as one of the most unsafe cities in the nation. I know a lot of folks have different perspectives on this, so hear us out on this. Uh, take a look. Uh, this new information coming out from uh, this report, of course, based on FBI statistics, it's from SafeWise.com, the eighth annual Safest Cities report. Now, of the top 10 list, uh, there are some of the least safe cities. Number four is Santa Monica. Number five is Compton. Number nine is San Bernardino. Now, there is a uh, some silver lining to this, if you want to call it that. In Southern California, nine of the cities are right here, considered the safest in the country. That's number three, Moore Park. Number four, Aliso Viejo. Number six, Laguna Niguel. Number nine, Rancho Palos Verdes. And number 10, Thousand Oaks. So there's some good with the bad. Now, Santa Monica, when we're talking about that, they ranked this area as one of the most unsafe cities in the nation. That's according to SafeWise.com. That annual report compared 230 cities. It analyzes uh, FBI stats. We have to point out that the new report gives property and violent crimes equal weight. Property crimes includes burglary, arson, vehicle theft, and stealing personal property. They also factored in other things. Um, some points include median income, redlining practices, unemployment rates, and city budget numbers. So it is pretty all-inclusive. This is how they came up with Santa Monica's ranking. There were six violent crimes, nearly 43 property crimes per 1,000 people. That's how they calculated those numbers. And a lot of tourists that I talked to this many, uh, morning by the pier, they were not aware of any issues. Some people who they live here, they say it's pretty safe overall. Others say they grew up here and things have definitely changed when it comes to more crime. How do you feel, you know, coming out here? I mean, it's a beautiful place. Yeah, it's beautiful, but, you know, I am leery. Uh, I do watch my back, unfortunately, uh, especially having my kids with me because you just never know if someone's going to try to do something to you or take your property. In your opinion, what's the solution to this? Uh, well, off, not defunding the police would be great. <laughs> Having more police officers, more of a presence, feeling more secure. A lot of different perspectives on this big issue. Reporting live here in Santa Monica, I'm going to send it back to you in the station.